much but i have to accept it go back talk to myself advise myself and tell myself that this is the reality i have to face and i'll face it with joy since okay. you love me very much more than i love you <laughs> that's the only condition all right hi guys my name is matthias i'm a life coach as you all know already today matter hurts very very well you know one of our sister called me she said that she has been dating a, a guy for the last two years now for the last two years so they love each other everything is going perfectly they are not decided to go to marriage so they have to prepare for the marriage during the process of the preparation for the marriage it happened that some tests some medical tests was required so when the results of the test came out it happened that the the guy was hiv positive when the guy was hiv positive that 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 was sister she was so confused she does not know what to do again she lost the guy but she does not know what to do again the guy is hiv positive and you know now that sickness they need to treat them they need to heal them so she's confused she called me she said what what should she do now say okay no problem let me go out and meet my fans discuss with them then we don't get back to him right now she will be watching this video so sister i want you to first of all what is your name okay my name is silver favor favor all right favor that is the situation of our sister what do you have to tell her as advice what does she, what does what can she do now actually this is a difficult task like and there are so many things involved in my own understanding number one i'll first of all take when did he contact this disease is he why that thing with me that he played away much so that one is a red flag number one then secondly i will take if i love him to the extent of enduring that because it's not something that you can just overlook like that it's contagious so i don't want anything that will happen to my life that's secondly then the third one is that i'm going to place myself in his shoe what if i'm the one that is hiv positive is he going to continue and if i see that he's not someone that can continue i will leave him because i'm not ready to die for anybody now I'm not Jesus Christ, so I'll just leave him immediately. If he cannot endure, if he, if he, if I will be, if I were in his shoe, if he cannot endure, and if his love is not that so deep towards me, I'm not going to go into that relationship. I'll cancel the marriage. That's it. okay. Okay. So let me say it this way: the love is too deep. They love each other. There's no doubt about it and there is also clear evidence that the guy didn't play a uh, double game with the girl you know you can contact hiv through different ways maybe uh, you went to bab for a babbing salon you can contact it from there so there is no proof that is because the guy was cheating that he, he he attracted that disease so there is the love and the guy is faithful in a case that he's faithful i have to go back advise myself and tell myself that we have to adapt to this situation because between us is for better for although we've not gone to church but i have to accept it go back talk to myself advise myself and tell myself that this is the reality i have to face and i will face it with joy since okay. he loved me very much more than i love him <laughs> that's the only condition all right all right so in conclusion now what does she need to do like the last advice if you want to summarize everything you said the last advice is advise yourself tell yourself that you can do this if indeed you love this guy there's nothing there hiv is not is not a, a death sentence you can do this just tell yourself that you can remember your happy memories with the guy and just cheer him up you before you know it he might even recover from it there's nothing love cannot conquer is he going to marry the girl 
because of love or he will stop the relationship and say i don't want it again Mama, marriage is not uh, it's not an easy something it's not just uh, something that you say let me try and come back it's not a joke so someone like i cannot manage that situation i will only help the girl maybe based on the financially for her to be having some medical uh, uh, treatment the one i can sponsor her freely but not that i will go further with the marriage we do but they say that uh, love with love you can overcome every challenge but you you love her you the person saying you love the girl so just because of small sickness now you will now you will not dodge you will not escape i don't understand now you say the love no day there again i mean love no get power again um, uh, this one, uh, this one, past love. Oh. Why is the camera? <laughs> this one, past love. Honestly. This one, past love. I'm telling you honestly, this one, past love. As the as some uh, people tell you that, uh, 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 hungry, past English. This one, past love, because <laughs> uh, um, uh, it's a life thing, you know. You understand? So my advice to the man, if the man can take my advice. Just let him help the girl financially the way he can do and uh, go and take another girl and make sure in short before he develop love again with any girl or any lady he have to go and do tests first so that the thing that happened to him will not repeat itself that is my own advice so, because that's what so, i would do if i'm the one okay okay so but if every all the men do like that now, who will marry that girl now? Who will marry that our sister now? Uh, they say that uh, marriage is not uh, compulsory that everybody will marry. Even there is where they quoted it in the Bible. Right. So if I get you very well, your advice, that my brother, is to leave that sister. Yes. If that brother wants to make a family, except so if you want to, to if you want family. to enjoy his marriage, marriage, he should leave. The sister yes. and go and marry another person, yes. but before he start a new relationship, yes. he should make sure that he do test to the new person that he will meet, yes. so that he will not face the same problem again. Yes. And also, you want to assist her financially. Yes, so you know, I have some diagnosis and based on the the the, the, the sickness the, the, discovered. Yes. All right, thank you very much uh thank you for watching this video thank you very much i would like you to drop your comments after watching this video what advice do you have for that our brother if you are in that situation or even if you are not in that situation what advice do you have to him right now if you are watching this video for the first time please subscribe and share the video so that you don't miss the next one thank you